This is the Excellent Sports Adventure. The Canadian women's soccer team will get a chance to defend their Olympic title in Paris, facing Jamaica in the second leg of the two-game aggregate. Terrific header there by Chloe Lacasse ties it up. Then some great work by Ashley Lawrence before sending a perfect cross in front for Jordan Heidema. Canada wins 4-1 in aggregate over Jamaica, and they're off to the Paris Olympics. Well, the Jays are in a great spot, closing the season with six straight home dates and a chance to wrap up a wildcard spot. First up, the boys from the Bronx were in. Another exceptional start for Kevin Gossman. He allowed three harmless hits over seven innings with five strikeouts, but his mates couldn't score. Austin Wells hit a two-run belt up in Jordan Romano in the ninth as the Yanks win 2 nothing. Jays let an opportunity slip away there. But they got off to a solid start against the Rays in Tampa. Dalton Varsho, who had an RBI single earlier, puts the game well out of reach with his majestic drive. His 18th big bop of the year as the Jays ripped the Rays 6-2. to two. Series finale and twos are wild. Second inning, 2-2 two -two the score. George Springer with a two-out belt to the alley. Rottles out the wall. Two-run score. And Springer on third. Here comes the slide. Here comes the throw. He is safe. A three-run inside the park. Homers, the Jays take the rubber match 9-5. to five. Well, this could be the CFL's Eastern final preview. We know that somebody's going to be in Toronto in November. Argos home to their good old pals from Hamilton and getting it done on defense. Taylor Powell fires over the middle, intercepted by Witten McManus. And look out, McManus is going to take this back for a 57-yard pick six. Chad Kelly, nice play action fake, rolls right, fires deep downfield for Dijon Brissett. What a great ball that was. 70-yard score. Brissett with a couple. Argo spanked the cast 29-14 there, 11-1. Rough Riders at Ottawa. Red Blocks hoping to snap a seven-game slide. An interception by the home side leads to this. Dustin Crum lays up a sweet ball for Braylon Addison at the back of the end zone. It was a big night for Crum. Fakes a handoff, hits the hole, slips a couple of tackles, and he's going to take this in for six. RBs handled the Riders 36-28 to keep their slim playoff hopes alive. Alouettes and Stampeders, Cody Fajardo, good protection, looks deep downfield for Tyson Philpott. Philpott is ruled down at the one, but this 52-yard gain set up a touchdown. Al's drop stamps 28-11. They slip past the Ticats in a second in the east. Suddenly, surging Elks home to the Lions. It was close, but Vernon Adams Jr. gives to, to Taquan Mazzell. Look at the hole he hits. This guy can fly. Mazzell was not caught. 48-yard score, his second of the night. Lions stop the Elks 37-29. They are tied with Winnipeg for first in the West. NHL preseason, Senators and Maple Leafs. Buds rally from two down. Tyler Bertuzzi to John Klingberg lets it go. Mitch Marner collects the rebound, scores with six ticks left. Overtime, two-on-one. Ridley Gregg over to Jacob Chikrin. Not much Martin Jones can do as the Sens drop the lease 4-3. Max Domi and William Nylander have been playing and practicing online together, and Max likes what he sees from Willie. Obviously, both of us like to make plays, so um, that makes a big difference. And um, He's such a good skater, and uh, when he when he gets the puck in the middle of the ice, he's, he's pretty lethal. So um, he, He's a guy that, I mean, personally, I always thought he was, he was a shooter, but when you really play with him, you, you see the plays he can make, and he, he, can, he can do both. So... Um, a lot of respect for what he can do, and um, definitely we're just trying to build every single day and, and keep adding to the chemistry, but we're, we're getting there, and it's fun to play with him, fun hockey, and just got to keep building. Could be a deadly duo. Oilers and Jets, all Winnipeg. Vlad Nemesnikov in, Nemesnikov in deep. Neil Pionk with a shot and a boomer, and the Jets smoke the oil 5 to nothing. Gary Boulanger has hung up his tack. The Hall of Fame jockey began riding at Woodbine in 2000. He would bounce back from life-threatening injuries to resume an amazing career, winning 3,685 races, over $83 million in purses. He won 90 stakes races, including the 2001 Queen's Plate. He was named winner of the Avelino Gomez Award for career contributions to the sport. He's also a former guest on this program. 26 nominees were announced for this year's Canadian International, the 84th edition of this classic event. The list of past winners included the great Secretariat. This was his final race 
And what a race that was. The 2023 Canadian International is coming up Sunday, October 8th. Part of an incredible card that will also feature the E.P. Taylor Stakes and two other stakes races. Okay, time now for our shot of the week. God Rooted in 60 years of tradition, Sleepy Hollow is a private golf club with a friendly community of members just minutes from Toronto. With mature trees and rolling fairways, Sleepy Hollow provides a challenging and enjoyable experience for passionate golfers. Enjoy great golf, amazing dining, and a picturesque patio second to none. Visit SleepyHollowCountryClub.com. Oh, my God.